Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I start this video, I just want to come off that uh, this video is not meant to be salty in any type of way. It's just going to explain um, some changes that have been occurring in the beta, specifically targeted at the ailment change because I've played around with bleeding and I've played around with poison now and they're currently not really in a very good state. So I decided to try to recreate my poison trapper from Talisman League. If people aren't really too aware with it, you can check it out. It's from like two years ago almost. Um, so what we did here is we're actually playing a Berserker Trapper. Now, before you guys say anything or bash anything, the point of the character is not meant to be for a specific build. It's meant to see how much damage we can get out of poison. So naturally, 40% more damage from Aspect of Carnage is extremely good, unless of course you were to go crit, but crit bear trap or crit trapper is... I don't really want to do that right now, right? And then of course you have to get perfect agony, which was extremely nerfed as well, so I prefer to just stay away from that. So I decided to go with as many multipliers as I could get, so step one for that would be getting uh, Berserker. So we've got Aspect of Carnage with a pretty much a shit ton of trap nodes, We've got Toxic Strikes. I ended up dropping Dirty Techniques because it wasn't worth it since they nerfed the, uh, the duration on it from 50 to 20. Uh, we've also got Fatal Toxins over here, Damage Over Time Through Entropy, Shadow Scaling Nodes here, uh, Picked Up Clever Construction, Have My Hasty Reconstruction, Force Shaper would be next, uh, and then of course I'd use an at Ziri's Promise. You could use Ming's Hearts, but this is just dropping your health more and more and more. We've also got things like a Innsbury Edge, which will give me 25% of my physical is converted over to chaos, which makes it kind of weird because uh, your chaos can poison um, as can your fizz. But um, we're just testing it out with this to start. So my blade fall currently is basically hybrid with fizz and chaos, um, as is my bear trap with physical and chaos. So I'm just going to turn into this screen so you guys can see them right now. So the links I'm currently using is blade fall with added chaos, um, unbound ailments, trap and mind damage, and then of course we have trap support gem. And for bear trap, we've got void manipulation, bear trap, added chaos, trap and mind, unbound ailments, and empower. You can mess around with some other ailment gems. I found this to be the most effective for me. Um, and I just want to show you guys a little bit of a quick demonstration um, in a, I guess, in a map. So let me see what we've got here. Let's just pull out an arcade map. We're not going to roll it with anything. We're just going to boom. Okay. Now, there are still other things you can do to add to this build. Of course, you could scale with like temporal chains to increase your duration. You could use things like vulnerability to increase that. At Ziri's Promise, like I was saying, Ming's Heart, you could get uh, even... I forgot what it's called. Sin's Rebirth gives you Unholy Might, which is another one. But the thing is, is you shouldn't need to have 15 multipliers to clear a simple map. Now, again, this is still in the in the beta, so things are subject to change. But uh, let me just show you guys how it works. So the idea behind this build uh, that was inspired off my Poison Trapper is basically the way it works with the mechanic is you would use Southbound, which will prevent any of your skills from killing targets and which will force your damage over time to kill targets, which automatically procs your Beano's, which means that your poison will spread. And you can have multiple poison stacks. So that this is a bear trap, which hits a target and then spreads, and then spreads and keeps and continuously kind of goes on. Let me show you how this damage works on a boss though, for example. I feel when you want to respond to someone, but you know that your build is so bad it'll die in one hit, so you can't talk to them. Feels trading, man. Okay, so here's here's a boss. So we're gonna vuln him and throw our six lung bear trap at him. Actually, it actually does like an okay amount of damage on these guys. Not really, actually. The damage over time is nothing. That's like just the bear trap initial hit. Okay, buddy boy, you wanna relax there, Mister Like Echoing Shrine, bro? So you can see this damage over time is okay, buddy. Relax. It's little to nothing with extreme amounts of investment 
specced into damage over time. And this is actually like a retardedly easy boss. Most bosses have like seven times that HP, uh, like no lie. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little heads up with how the ailment changes are right now. Uh, again, this is a character that I've went far out of my way for extreme investment into the poison mechanic to kind of show you guys just how little you get back from it right now. Um, so I'd recommend if you guys want to test poison in the beta, wait me for maybe some no pa like some new patch notes. Uh, same thing with bleed and even ignite. I think ignite is doing better. Um, of course, you could always go flame blast and it's all right. But I just had to make this video because I wanted to make a video going over a trapper. Um, and this was the character that I kind of wanted to remake because, you know, they've basically been nerfing AoE. We've got projectiles right now, but I didn't want to play a projectile based character. So I said, why not try poison and I'll see how it works. By playing this as a saboteur, I would lose ridiculous amounts of damage as well. Uh, please remember that this is being done with six links, with a level three in power, um, and f with with a uh, berserker forty percent more damage. Oh yeah, this is also without decay. Decay would not help single target whatsoever. For the full numerics, if you guys are curious, uh, Bladefall in a 4 link right here is doing 1700 poison damage with a trap in mind damage, unbound ailments, Bladefall added chaos, and for my bear trap, we are rocking a solid 6400 um, damage per second with our avoid manipulation, bear trap added chaos, trap in 9, unbound ailments, and empower. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I uh, hope this helps you guys out. Hope you can stay away from these mechanics of the beta until they're adjusted some more. Remember that we do expect a new bleed keystone being added in um, because they're really not very happy with the way it's working right now. So that would be pretty cool to see. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to keep you guys a little updated. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Remember you catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.